It's surviving, living, you know what I'm saying? It ain't really like thug, you know, trying to be something you ain't. It's like really trying to, we out here trying to survive. We trying to help each other, provide for each other. Um, throughout this time period, everybody had that means of justifying why they did the things that they did and why they turned in the routes that they turned to. Uh, but the reality was that, you know, we were losing a lot of people. Um, if you know what it feels like to lose somebody. Um, to be in a system where, you know, you can wake up one morning and the person who you love is not with you anymore. That was the reality of the community that I was involved in. Um, but I've lost a lot of people um, in my life. Um, and it was a continuous system that we've had to go through. Um, when I think about all the people who lost their lives to this gang violence, who had hope in their lives, who had dreams of becoming something bigger, people who were honor students in college, who fell victim to the circumstances and who fell victim to the environment which they were involved in. You know, I realized that there is a little bit of all of us in them. And not only did these people die those days, but the, also the people who murdered them died that day. Because they'll never get the opportunity to see what I see now. They'll never get the opportunity to see the other side, to see a side that's prosperous see a side where they can live again and to find out who they really are. All those opportunities are gone because of the mistakes that they've made. Being a product of the system, of this innate environment where you see Consistency in gang violence, drug infestation, dropout rates. There are a couple common factors that go along with all of this, being that children are raising themselves. Um, me and my situation where I didn't have a mother, I didn't have a father to go to. I had people to look out for me and to tell me what was right from wrong. But instead was congratulated for perpetuating the same acts that got me in the situation that I was in. Um, and when you live in an environment like that, uh, you allow yourself nothing but the option of failure. Um, and it's sad because you can't choose your environment. You can't choose where you live. You can't choose where, who you were raised by. You can't choose your parents at birth. This is all kind of given to you. Um, and so we think critically about how things begin to manifest how people can get out of their situation. Um, being homeless on the street at 17 years old uh, was not easy. To be on the street at 4 o'clock in the morning uh, with no food to eat, no clothes to have on my back, kind of changed things a little bit. You know, I didn't have those influential factors. Um, I didn't have those kind of high aspirations for my life that is instilled within so many by parents and mentors and teachers. Yeah, I didn't have this, but a part of me still had dreams and aspirations. A part of me still wanted something, was trying to find something very sincere um, that I couldn't really reach. But I knew one thing, you know, as hurting as it was, I just wanted to go home. I wanted to tell my sisters who was going through the same situation that everything was going to be all right for them, that they shouldn't worry about the situation. I had my dreams, I had the prospects of college and my memory, I had the dream of kind of getting out of the situation and be having a life full of wealth and health and success and prosperity, the things that we all dream about, right? And to be the father that I've never had in my life. All these things I wanted, all these things I felt really I can have and I can achieve. But at the time, you know, I was really going through some very rough situations. You know, being that I had a 1.3 in my freshman year of high school, and a 1.6 afterwards, I had to go to summer school twice. Um, so I've been living in a very condemned building where I had to go home to no heat, to go home to parents who were infested with drugs, to go home to no hot water, to go home to no food in the refrigerator. A whole bunch of things that kind of work together to assure that I didn't make it. And this was consistent throughout the entire time when I was trying to make it out of this situation. 